Is your nose itchy just now? Okay, are you sneezing all the time? Is your eyes watery and they feel you want to scratch them? Are they itchy too? Is your face puffy? Do you feel irritable? <laughs> Is your natural positive self feeling tired and oh, like that? Then you're like me and you suffer from hay fever. <laughs> and it can really make us miserable it can and this is what today's video is all about so my name is Joni welcome to my channel Joni loves please before we go and hit that subscribe button and that bell what is hay fever hay fever is a common allergic reaction what is the culprit <laughs> pollen grass or tree pollen Pollen is like a fine powder that's emitted when the plant and trees are in their reproductive cycle and it goes into the air. And unfortunately for one in five of us, when that pollen hits our nostrils or our eyes, the body starts to fight back, treating it like a virus almost. We're in the we're in the year of the viruses, aren't we? <laughs> After all. But it treats it like that and it produces histamine. And it's producing this histamine that causes all these things to us that aggravate us, you know, the sneezing and the scratching of the skin. Oh, it's like the body does this to fight this virus, this immune thing comes out in the form of histamine and it really agitates as it does. And they find that people who have got hay fever can also be prone to um, eczema, they can, or psoriasis. In that sort of field, when you have got allergic reactions, you can be prone to that. How does it affect your skin and how do you allergy proof your skin? So the first thing to know is that when the body does this, your skin can really feel dry and dehydrated. So I would definitely say, you know, I'm always saying it, drink more water, that was going to help your skin to feel less itchy, but really make sure you really hydrate it with a good moisturiser. You know, thinking about your hyaluronic acids, this is the time to make sure you're using those in serums and in moisturisers to hydrate your skin. You really want to keep this um, skin barrier you know that keep talking about your protective shield but your skin barrier you do not want that to be leaky or anything like that and letting water come out you know that trans epidermal water loss when you've got hay fever and your skin feels dehydrated these things can occur so you really want to make sure that your skin barrier is really protected by use of good moisturizers hyaluronic acid glycerine things like that in your skincare that's going to attract water and keep the water in your skin so keep that repair repair that skin barrier and keep it strong this is when eye cream really does come into its own and i do like to use an eye cream i know some people say you don't need eye cream i don't agree with that I'm an esthetician for over 30 years and I am telling you, get into the eye cream habit. Put on eye cream, nice moisturising around this area to keep it moisturised, okay? And try not rub your eyes. The more you rub your eyes, it really isn't great. It's going to feel more itchy. So also you can get Optrix Itchy Eye Drops. I haven't tried them, but I know people that have and they really do give relief. So if you've got the itchy eyes from the hay fever, get these eye drops, that'll help you. And obviously, I'm going to always scream at you at some point, nearly in every video. I'm always going to say, always wear sun protection. When you put on your sun factor after your moisturiser, you, before you go out, um, it really will help. It helps you when you've got hay fever. It will really protect your skin, protect this barrier and make the symptoms less at will, I promise. What are some of my tips that I want you to think about as well? Change your clothes so when you get home at night. Remember, when you went outside, you've attracted the pollen. Okay, you can't help it. You're walking through it, <laughs> right? So change your clothes when you get home at night. Take your clothes off and put your joggies on, whatever, okay? And thinking about that especially if you're out in the air outside <laughs> have a shower before you go to bed the thing about when you've got hay fever is it really can give you a really not a great sleep so have a shower and you know you can you don't need to wash your hair every night but it's a good idea to shower and have the pollen coming out your hair even rinsing your hair get the pollen out of it um, change your pillowcase. It's a funny wee thing to think about that, but changing your pillowcase every few days, right? I think that's a good one to think about. And I know it sounds daft, but we nice weather comes, the pollen count goes up, and then we hang our clothes or washing outside to dry, 
We do that in the UK. It's a UK thing. Is it a, is it a thing anywhere else? It'd be good for anyone to tell me if they do that anywhere else. Hang the washing outside. But think about it. The washing is outside and the, and the pollen is going to be on it. So try not do that just now. You know, keep the washing. Get it, get it dried inside the house. Um, keep the windows closed. I know this is really difficult to do, especially when it's warm weather. But if you've got air con... You know, that's one way to solve it. Um, but really keep your windows closed because remember, you've got the windows open in your bed at, bedroom at night and then the pollen's coming through and you're wondering why you're waking up like you can hardly open your eyes. <laughs> so keep the windows closed. That's a really good tip. I'm going to show you this, what I use. I really like this. This is Sterimar. It says breathe easy daily, but this is like a nasal passage cleaner and I find this really good I do you put this obviously up the nose you just spray one second up the nose and then very gently blow your nose and I'm going to say just now when you're blowing your nose don't be blowing your nose very hard because you can give yourself little broken veins around this area here doesn't look good so you'll notice that and I bet you do after me telling you that you look at someone and say oh you blow your nose too hard so don't blow your nose too hard you don't want to give yourself any broken capillaries around this area and and I should remember to say to you about tissues try to use tissues that are made for sensitive skin soft tissues think soft okay don't use like toilet paper or stuff like that on your nose no 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 so using this is really good I would recommend this I use it daily at night and morning it's really good and once I've used this the thing that helps me with my hay fever is beckonies okay two puffs up each nostril morning and night now this really works it's a cortical steroid so it is a steroid that you spray up your nose but it really stops it prevents inflammation and it keeps this passages it helps keep them clear so i find this really good the only thing i would say about this you know you need to think bring your girl guide out or your boys brigade thing out use it and be prepared and use it before your hay fever starts because it takes about a few days for this to kick in and help your symptoms. Be prepared <laughs> and use it at start of maybe a week before you think um, your allergy is going to start kicking off. But I really do recommend this. Another thing I do, I'm going to tell you I do it. Um, you know, I've, I've told you about Vaseline. I like Vaseline for different things, but I do use Vaseline. Put it on a cotton bud okay and I put it round the nasal passages here yeah I do and you know it's really good doing that because it traps the pollen doing that before you go out good old Vaseline but that's really good because it traps the pollen that really does work I think you can definitely get I've seen them advertised I haven't used them but you can get hay fever um balms that are the same thing basically and you put them down to you and it just traps the pollen to stop the pollen from entering your body and <laughs> um, what else i've got this i want to talk about is this honey okay this is organic honey but i have heard that i've not used it but i do take my organic honey i do but locally sourced honey that is a true belief that when you get locally sourced, made locally to your area, um, and you take a spoonful of that every day, and I have checked this up with someone that makes it locally to me, that they, they've said, oh yes, it does work. Uh -huh. But that's a good thing, a spoonful of honey mm -hmm, every morning, and that's meant to really help you, help your symptoms and keep them at bay. Okay, what else can I say? One thing I've got to say to you, um, I haven't got my phone handy, but I'm going to say download this pollen app. This is my last tip for you. I want you to get used to this. This is really, really clever, but there is a pollen app on your phone. I'll put a screenshot up on this so that you can see it. The pollen app is great because it's got a little diary bit on it, first of all, and you can record every day when you start to feel your symptoms, how you're feeling, record them and say, oh, it's feeling rubbish today, <laughs> whatever. And then also in this pollen app, it gives you a forecast. So it will tell you, is today is going to be, before you even go outside, is today going to be a medium pollen count? Is it going to be high? Or is it going to be low? So this is really good information, I think. And it gives you a forecast for the next few days. So download the pollen app. 
I would definitely do that. I love it. And when you've used it for a full season, what's pretty cool about this app is that then it will tell you really what you are susceptible to. Is it grass pollen or is it tree pollen? For me, it's tree pollen, okay? I just wish the pollen app would actually, you know, send me a wee alarm saying, hey you, get your beckonies, get your stuff doing it, because it's going to happen soon. <laughs> but we all would like that, somebody to, somebody to sit on the shoulder and say, right, get yourself organised. Okay, so I'm hoping that's going to give you a few tips to think how you're going to keep your your allergies under control. It really is, it is absolutely, this time of year can be really awful from a lot of people. So I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Please tell me anything that you do that helps your hay fever. I'd love to find that out. It's always great to share information. That's what my channel is all about. Hoping that you're getting some tips to keep you nice and healthy and hoping that some of you out there can also do that with the comments. Let me know. That would be good. And have a great week. Look after yourselves. I hope it's nice where you are. We are now getting out of lockdown in Glasgow. <laughs> We're so excited here. <laughs> yes, we are. The pubs are back open. That's what I'm telling you. The pubs are back open. So we're all getting there and life is getting back to some sort of normality. Thank goodness. So take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. 